Hello. So I'm not setting up my camera properly because can't be bothered because it's not going to be set up properly for the remainder of this video. Um, today we're doing a makeup collection. Uh, so I'm just going to be taking you through my drawers. I have quite a lot. Um, so buckling, this could be a long video. I don't know. Uh, I've just filmed it. Um, but obviously, I don't know how long the clips were. Um, so we'll just have to see. Um, okay, so this is my lip drawer. Um, this looks really messy, but I've honestly tried loads of storage. And this is the only thing that works. I used to have them all in like little bins. And I just, I'd only use the stuff on top because I didn't want to mess it all up underneath. So this looks really messy, works for me. So in this bit, we've got lipsticks and also liquid lipsticks. So we've got everything from Jeffree Star. These are new, some MUA ones that I just bought. Uh, Two Faces came in like the gingerbread collection last year. What's that, L'Oreal, MAC, Maybelline, these are really good. Um, what's that, is that Kiko? Kiko, more UAs, YSL. Dust colours, Fenty, loads of matte lipsticks, NYX, Colourpop, just benefit ones that are back here, just loads of different things. My favourite family of liquid lip, by the way, is the YSL, is it the Tatouage lipsticks? Just simply because they're just really nice. They're really light and comfortable on the lips, like you don't even feel them. Um... But they give you like such a nice like almost stained effect they're so nice i love these um i've actually got two of these little mini red ones because when i bought some stuff from them before they came as like a gift with like this in a makeup bag and i think one of them came with a mini mascara as well and i like never wear red lipstick so having this was fine so this and then my jeffy star i think i have red rum yeah red rum i like the only red lipsticks that i will actually use so that's an overview of that bin. Oh, that's a little smashbox. A little rogue smashbox one there. Um, I've then got my glosses on this side. So I've got Dior, YSL, a couple MAC, Too Faced, Fenty, obviously, um, Clinique, Urban Decay, Marc Jacobs, Dose of Colours, Jeffree Star at the bottom, Charlotte Tilbury, Jouet. If you're wondering what my favourite lip glosses are, let me get it. Probably the Too Faced Sweet Peach Oils. They just feel so nice on the lips and they smell incredible. So I love those ones. So they're just there. And then at the back here, I'll pull it out so you can see. It's mainly just like lip balms. Like I've got my, oh, I've got my Benny Balm. I've got Fenty Little Lip Scrub. This is what I use if I've kind of already put my makeup on. And I'm like, oh, I kind of need to scrub my lips. Um, because in a stick, it's a lot easier. If not, and I'm just doing like skincare-wise, I'll use my Jeffree Star one, which is on the top. So I've got those two. Um, I've got a bunch of these MUA lip liners, which again, are really new to my collection. Not tried those yet, but they're only like £1.50, I think they were. Um, so I've got those. I've got MAC, Revolution, more Revolution, Kiko, Mini Mark Jacobs, NYX. Charlotte Tilbury, I think this is another Kiko, yeah, I've got a YSL one, and then I've just got this like lip crayon from Maybelline, um, so yeah, that as well, so they're on the lip. Okay, so next one down is, I've got a lot of brow stuff, mascaras, and then I've got like spares at the back, so in this section, we'll start closest to the camera. Um, I've got mascaras, so I've got like Benefit Roller Lash, Bad Gal Bang, Bare Real. Do love a Benefit mascara? I used to work here, obviously, so you'll never own so many mascaras and brow products than you do when you work at Benefit, <laughs> honestly. So I've got those, I've got Dior, couple Too Faced, a blue Benefit one, uh, L'Oreal. This one's actually probably my favourite mascara, the um, Carbon Black Telescopic. That one's really good. Um, I've got the Lareal Primer, this is actually a good again, it's not white, it's brown which is good because on natural days I use this on its own if I just kind of want that tinted look, um, but under mascara it works really well as well, um, and then you have some minis, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes which, unpopular opinion, not my fave, 
I don't know why. It just, I just find it does absolutely nothing to my lashes. Is that just me or does someone else feel the same? Because I feel like I go crazy because everyone talks about this and everyone loves it. But every time I use it, I don't like it. Like this tends to, oh, this tends to be what I use when I'm putting on like quite a full pair of lashes and I literally just want my lashes to be black because I don't just want it to sit here and not get used. And I know that if I actually used it as a mascara, it would just sit here and not get used. Not a fan. Which is strange because I literally like love everything else I've got from them, but that one's not for me. This section is like brow gels. Um, so here, obviously, we have the pink honey brow glues. This is raspberry. This is original. I'm obsessed with these. Um, I'll link their Instagram page at the bottom. They have like different restock days because obviously they're only a small company, so they can only restock so much. These like the Queen Bee jars, I think they said. So these are the large jars, and they're only fifteen pound each. Um, but honestly, they're amazing. If you love the like soap brow, fluffy brow effect. You will be obsessed with these. Um, they are so, so good. Um, this one smells incredible. It's got a little dent in the middle so that you put your brush in there, which I like because I also have the West Banco soap brows. But like, look how disgusting it gets around the sides. Like, pink honey is everything I wanted this to be. This one, I find I put it on my brows and then like 10 minutes later, if that... It's like just gone. My brows have just dropped again and it's as if it did nothing. It does my head in. But anyway, so that stays tucked away. Um, I've got 24 hour brow setter. This is my favourite, just like regular brow gel if I don't want the fluffy brow. Um, 3D brow tones, mine's in the shade two. These are all from Benefit, by the way. Um, so I've got those. I've got many gimme brows. Uh, everyone knows what gimme brow is. It's just their like tinted brow gel with little fibres in there um so I've got a few shades of that I've got another one down there I have get this one out this again is new the MUA brow define it was like two pounds so I thought I'd give it a go this is mid brow uh, so I've got that and then these are the Anastasia dip brow gels I am actually mm, I didn't I really didn't like these when I first got them because I think I'd like it more if the brush was more the style of Gimme Brow. Now it's dried out a bit, I don't mind it as much because not as much clumps onto my eyebrows as it did when it was brand new. But still, it's still not my fave, but I do. This section is all of like filling in, I suppose, <laughs> like uh, pencils and things. So I've got the Benefit Brow Styler. I do like this one, but does anyone else find theirs has got like really dry? Like I've had this for a while now, but even so, like a few days after I'd got it, it just went dry. I don't know if it's just like the wax and the pencil. Um, but I do, I do like it. You've just got to warm it up a bit. I've got a few MUA ones again, quite new to my collection. And um, I've got like the skinny micro pencil, just like a traditional wooden one. And then this one is like the um, brow definer, except it's got one of those like almost toothbrush spoolies on the end i don't know how that'll work um but yeah it's like the diamond tipped pencil so i've got those three again though i think the most expensive one was like three pounds so i was like why not give it a go um we've got quite a few shades of nyx Um, we've got benefit cabrow in a couple of shades the bravo primer highbrow uh many shades of precisely many shades of goof proof i've got an anastasia uh, brow whiz down there somewhere i've got a sleek one i believe just many pencils and many filling in products and then here obviously we've got browsings so i've got shade three and shade one can we all just take a moment to appreciate the fact that i've still got these little tweezers and stuff in the packaging because usually i'd have lost them all but I kept them and then we have just the foolproof brow powder there as well um and then at the back like i've said this is like extra bits the only thing that isn't extra bits is down here you can't see it and i can't be asked getting it out um it's just the anastasia pro brow powder palette that has like all the shades in it so that's down there i have this because i have it already and you'll see that in my highlight drawer um, but this said champagne on Superdrug, and the shade that i had was sparkling love and i was like oh it must be a different color no, obviously Superdrug just called it champagne and didn't put its actual name down. So I've got a spare. 
um, <laughs> which I don't think I'll get through anytime soon. So I've put it in here until I decide what I want to do with it. Um, we've got spare brows, of course. I've got a spare blue there real, spare roller lash. I've got two new mascaras. I've got the Be Perfect Bad Llama mascara because I got it in their recent deal where you got this, the eye primer and the Stacey Marie XL palette and it was like 30 quid because I thought even if I don't like this in the primer it still makes the palette cheaper so got that to try and then also an MUA lashes I pretty much got stuff for a full face and then some from MUA I've got an extra browsings and brow powder at the back and then I've got a spare Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream and um, I've got one already open in my primer drawer but I got them on the US website when they had Bound Get One Free Um, I used my like us locker thing to get it here um because i thought well if i don't like it i can pass it along to someone or something like that so yeah that's still in its packaging sealed and then obviously i've just got some like spoolies in there for the brow products so that's that drawer so now is my favorite drawer this is all my highlighters minus palettes this is like singles and liquids and stuff um what should we start with? I'll start with the uh, liquids because they're at the back and then I can just like pull them forward. So I've got the Revolution. It's like a jelly highlighter. It looks quite pretty actually. I got this when I ordered some of the XX Revolution stuff. It came free in like a goodie bag. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. It's actually quite a nice champagne colour. Um, and it swatches really well, but how it goes on over foundation is a different story. Um, we then have obviously Fenty Diamond Balm. This is stunning. It does get quite messy though. Little mini high beam. Everyone knows what high beam looks like. I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. Um, this is actually really good. I'm not a fan of the packaging, like the little puffy thing on top, but the shade's really nice and it blends out really well. So I've got that. Um, I've got two YSL stick highlighters in the shade one and three. I think one's just light gold and one's like rosy gold. Um, but they're really pretty. Got those. I've got my current being used L'Oreal uh, Glow Mon Amour highlight drops, as you can tell from the state of the pipette. Um, but these are really nice. For the longest time, these were the only liquid highlighter I could ever find that didn't separate my makeup. It didn't go patchy. Like it actually showed up on my skin after blending it out. Unlike these ones. These are the Becca Champagne Pop ones. I don't like these. Like they look so lovely when you swatch them. Like, it's like you swatch it and they look so shimmery and nice and then as you blend it out like where is it gone it just goes into absolutely nothing so not a fan of those but i keep them anyway so that's my liquids and creams here we have some at the back there we have some loose ones so i've got this so I've got this MUA Lux Glow Beam Highlighting Powder in Cashmere. This is way too dark. Again, I just got it because it was on sale and then I had even more of a sale because um, I had a code. So I just thought I'd give it a go, but it is way too dark. But I was hoping it would be the gold one, but it's not. I have Anastasia Snowflake. This one I do like. It is just super chunky and like literally icy white. Like I'm pale, don't get me wrong. But even this one lands a little bit too light for me. So if I use this, it really is just like a tiny amount on like the really, really tops of my cheekbones um, to give it an extra pop. That's why it's pretty much full and I've had it for a while. Um, there's this MUA Prism Loose Highlighter, which is like, it's supposed to be like a duochrome highlighter. I don't know, you get loads in here and it was only like £2.50. Um, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and then I have this one from Inglot. This is the Sparkling Dust Face and Body. Um, it's absolutely stunning. It's like a really champagne gold. I've not tried it on yet. I've only swatched it, but it swatches lovely. <laughs> so they're my loose ones. I don't tend to use loose highlighters as much just because they are so much more hassle. Um, but I've got loads anyway. This one is the only palette I suppose that stays in here, and that's because it's a duo. Um, and I know that if I put it in palette drawers, I just wouldn't reach for it because it is so small and I tend to, if I want a palette, I want a palette kind of thing. Um, so this is just the doll like duo. I'm sure everyone's seen that. Um, I have, so we'll start with singles now. If you're wondering where these acrylic little like dividers are from, they are just from Amazon. They were like £8, I think. Um, so really not that bad. So this first one is Ofra Glazed Donut. 
you can pretty much tell I've hardly touched this. I got this on Beauty Bay when it was half price a while ago. Um, it was the same time that they were selling off loads of makeup geek eyeshadows. Um, just because I wanted to try it. Um, but again, I use it in a similar way to the Anastasia one when I do use it. Um, I have ABH and Reezy. My like favourite highlight in the world. I've got two Jeffree Star Supreme Frosts. This one is Diamond Wet. This one is very glittery, so if you don't like glittery, you will like this. This is from his uh, Jawbreaker collection, I believe. And then I have Snow Globe. Yeah, Snow Globe, um, which isn't as glittery. A um, bit more of a regular highlight, I suppose. <laughs> Melt Cosmetics actually have my like favourite formula of highlighters. Like They are so nice. I never hear anyone talk about them. So these are the Digital Dust Highlighters. This one's in the shade Stargazer. This one's really nice because it's like... It's almost like a nude colour. Um, and then this one is in the shade Gold Ore, which obviously is a lot more golden. We have the Makeup Forever shade 2, which again is just the gold. It's like the Pro Light Fusion highlighter. I got this because Han Renee used to absolutely rave about this one. So I thought I had to give it a go. So that's that one. Standard, standard in every person's makeup collection, MAC Whisper of Guilt. Love this. It is extremely similar to the Amrezy one, however. So if you've got this and you want an Amrezy thinking they'll be really different, they're really not. Or, you know, because you can't get Amrezy anymore, I don't think. If you get this, you've pretty much got the same thing. Um, I just have both because I didn't realise. <laughs> I then have Chanel. This is rosy gold. That one's really nice. Uh, this new one is from XX Revolution. Not tried it yet, I've swatched it. Uh, but that's really pretty and quite fair. Uh, Milk Makeup Iced. This is one where I was like, everyone was going crazy about these. And I, I wanted one because I'm obsessed with highlight. But I was a bit like, it's only highlight, how good can it be? And it is really good, but I still do think it is just a highlighter. And it's definitely not my most reached for one. But I am glad I've got it. Um, I then have this Elsie one. Um, I got it on a whim off the beauty day because it was on sale. And it was like £12, I want to say. It was like pretty much half price. Um because it's pink and I don't tend to use pink highlighters you'll have seen in my collection they're pretty much all gold and like champagne um, but it is quite pink this one but it is actually really pretty and the embossing in the palm is so pretty so I've got that one another unpopular opinion Becca highlighters not my fave um, I have two I've got which one's this one champagne pop this one, I just expected it to be so highlighted and like so blinding because everyone says it is and everyone raves about it. And I think at the time of it coming out, it probably was, but now it's just not. Um, it's The Becca highlighters are one of my more natural highlighters and that's saying something. Um, they're just not my favourite formula. I don't think they're worth 30 quid. However, you know, bought them anyway. Uh, and then this one will be Prosecco Pop, which is just a bit more gold than Champagne Pop. Um, I actually prefer Prosecco Pop out of the two, which is surprising. Um, and then the last one is just this really tiny, like, seriously how tiny, uh, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I was really late to the party on this one, because um, I've not had this for too, too long. Um, but yeah, got that one. So that's my highlight drawer done. So now, which drawer is it, this one? Yeah. We're on to my blush drawer. I've recently just purchased a lot of these blushes, like all of these at the front, minus them two, are like brand new um, for my collection. Um, but we'll go through them anyway. So again, we'll start with cream in this basket. Um, I've got five, I think, five. Uh, yeah, five of these MUA like liquid blushes. These are like £2.50 each and they're supposed to be a great dupe for the Glossier Cloud paints. Um, and they're about 15 quid roundabout. So I thought it's cheaper to get five of these than it is to get one of those. And I had obviously a bigger discount code, so I thought I'd get them. Um, I've not tried them yet. I've swatched them and they do seem to blend out really nice, but I've not tried them on my face. Um, so I'm really excited to give these a go because I'm obsessed with cream products. I've got quite dry skin. So green cream products are really good for me. And before I got these, I literally had like, a benefit tint which i never use and like a milk makeup stick a uh, little sample thing that i got from cult beauty which is like the only cream product i was using so i've got those and then yeah like i said a little sample 
milk makeup one but you got loads of product in here i really like it and i do think i'll buy the full size however i'm waiting until this goes because you get loads of product it's in the shade work and then obviously mini go go tint by benefit at the back here we have ones that don't fit in there because they're too big um so we have obviously my jouet rose gold like blush duo um, and then my two Marc Jacobs air blushes. They're really pretty. I don't think they're worth the money because they're definitely not my favourite blushes and they are really expensive compared to the other ones I've got. But I'm happy I've got them, but I just don't think I'd repurchase them, to be honest, unless I, like, won the lottery, came into loads of money. <laughs> so now we're just on the singles. So I've got a YSL blush that's in the shade 4. These annoy me because why can't you just cut off the packaging there? Or make it bigger, like your bronzers. Because it came one of them stupid little brushes that no one uses. It does my head in. But it is really pretty. I have Charlotte Tilbury Love Glow, I think. Yeah, Love Glow. Chic to chic blush. That's quite a natural flush one because it's, it's not overly pigmented and not overly colourful. I've got Jordan and Tisha in Prom Queen. This is really nice, especially if you're using like quite a gold highlighter. It really blends into your highlighter really lovely. Um, so I love that one. These two BH Cosmetics ones that are like a fiver, five or six quid are actually really good. Um, so I've got this one, which is a bit lighter and a bit more coral. And then this one, which is a bit more pink. I love these actually. Some of my favourite blushes. Um, two Benefit blushes. This is their newest edition. It's like the revamp of Georgia Peach. And then California, which is one of my faves. Um, I'll then do these three at the bottom. So I've got two of the Max Factor Creme Puff blushes. I just have these so I had drugstore options because for the longest time I didn't. Um, so I thought they were, quite, they were quite cheap, I think. So I just picked them up. And then a little L'Oreal True Match blush as well. Um. This one is MAC Lust. I got this one off Depop um, off my friend. So that one's really good. I quite like it. It's quite shimmery though. Um, I have a few NARS blushes. Again, all these from Depop because I am not spending full price if I don't know the quality and I've never tried them before. Uh, so I have Desire. Angelica. I've broke the packaging on that one so that's annoying. And then Super Orgasm. So those are those three. And then have a Sephora blusher again from Depop, just a nice orange. I've got these two from MUA that again yet to try. Um but they are so adorable. And again, they were like £2.50, so like that is really cute. So I thought I'd give those a go. And then one from XX Revolution in the shade Obscure, I think. It's just like a peachy. Peachy mauve colour. I don't know. I've not tried it yet. So that's my blush drawer. So the next drawer is quite full, I will say. This is bronzers. <laughs> For someone that's so pale, I wear a lot of bronzer. <laughs> so again, we'll start with cream. Uh, these bins, by the way, are from like Palmland. You get like two for a quid or something. So I have this milk makeup stick in the shade bake this is my current fave at the moment it's just it's really blendable and really lovely so i like that one um i've got quickie contour stick from benefit um i've got the l'oreal infallible stick foundation the shade 220 it's super dark um so i don't use this one as much i think discontinued the stick foundation because i don't see anyone talk about it anymore um but i've got that i've got chanel solo tanda chanel one of my faves um, really upset that they have potentially changed the formula. <laughs> Very upset. And then I have Huda Tanto in the shade Fair in here as well. By the way, a lot of this stuff I did actually get from my friend on Depop. Um, so I'll put her like app down below um, because she's cleared out all of her makeup collection. She's keeping it quite minimal now. So she's like slowly adding stuff on there. So I'll put her app down below um, so that you can follow her and see if there's anything you want because some, most of this stuff is some of this some of my new stuff that i've got is actually from her um because why not she's used it like a couple times so yes at the back there is like bigger bronzers that don't fit in these dividers um just simply because they're too big so we've got 
the new glow collection by revolution this is in the shade of light and it is really really dark um again not used it yet um does anyone else smell of coconut because i feel like mine smells of coconut but i don't know if it's just me going crazy but yeah so i've got that one i have mac jacobs tantastic this is like the coconut one not my favorite it's a bit too like cool toned for me but i've got it anyway it cost me a lot um i've got physician's formula butter bronzer which is a fave this one does smell really nice and two more i've got the revolution mega bronzer in warm again not used it because i haven't really been wearing makeup um but yeah i've got that to try it like a fiver so i thought i might as well give it a go and then i have this kiko one which is like the marbled big ones this is from the ocean field collection but they bring these out with like every collection just in different packaging so if, in the newest collection if they have a marble bronzer it'll be this marble bronzer it smells like chocolate it's so nice okay so these little rejects at the side are ones that again don't fit so similar story to the doll beauty one this is my uh, duo from jouer if i put it in with my actual palette drawer i just wouldn't get around to using it so we've got this one um i've got the mini bronze and glow by natasha Dodona. This is like tiny, like absolutely tiny. I expected it to be at least a bit bigger. Um, like kind of my Jouer Rose Gold duo. But this is literally like an eyeshadow duo. I've not used it yet because it does look quite dark. <laughs> but I've got that. And then I've got like a little sample of Hula. I don't know. I've got it free from something. So, start with the singles. These dividers, again, are from Amazon. They're all the same thing. Um, this is what I was on about with the YSL bronzer. How much better is that? Wouldn't you want them to just do their blushes like that? Like, honestly. So this is their bronzing stone in the shade 2. We have Fenty. This one's in Indus Sun. I don't tend to use this one too much because it is more cool toned. I don't tend to use it if I'm just contouring my nose. Um, I then have Shady Biz, which is, as you can tell from the packaging, the one I tend to use because it's a bit more warm toned. I have Too Faced, Milk Chocolate Soleil, that's a fave. Um, this other duo from Too Faced is like the pineapple one. It's got a highlighter and a bronzer in it. This is actually really nice as well. I do like it. It's just a split pan that annoys me because I feel like whenever I put my brush in it, I'm going to get some of the highlighter and I don't want that. Um, so that's the only gripe I have about that. I have MAC Give Me Sun, a classic. Of course I do. I have a Becca bronzer, which I much prefer their bronzer formula to the highlight formula, I will say. This is in the shade Bali Sands. It's just quite glowy and like quite light, so I like that. Um, and then I have my full size Hula Light, which looks like it'll do nothing to your skin, but it's actually really good, especially if you're fair. Um, here we have Pure Bronzing Act in Light. Again, a bit more cool toned, but it's it's okay. I get I can get used out of it. Um, I have this NYX one, which is way too dark for me, um, but I keep it in there just with all my other stuff in case I do anyone's makeup that's a little bit darker than me. Um, I have two Makeup Forever ones. So this is the Pro Sculpting Duo, so this is the one that comes with the highlighter. I got this off Depop off someone else, so that's really nice. Um, I've have, I have this Makeup Forever Pro Brands Fusion. This one I got from Alex off Depop. Um, this one's actually really nice. I have to use a really light hand with it because it does go on quite strong. Um, but it is quite nice. I then have the Revolution Bahia bronzer. Again, not used it yet. It's their new, like, Revolution Pro sculpting bronzer. I don't know, we'll give that a go. Um, I've got the new XX Revolution bronzer in the shade Demo, which is the lightest one. Again, not used it. An MUA one, again not used it yet but that was on like £2.50 and then I have an actual mini hula bronzer which I tend to just use for contouring my nose to be honest so that's my bronzer drawer now we have primers and concealers can you see kind of it's really hard to show you these bigger drawers um but I'll pull them forward so yeah this is primer and concealer so I have them split out. My original plan was to split them between moisturising and like hydrating and not moisturising and hydrating. But it doesn't go that way because some of the packaging says hydrating and I'm like, I wouldn't call it that. So they're just kind of split where they fit at the moment. Um, it's more like things that can stand up in this straw and tubes and then like uh, there's, there's no rhyme or reason. 
So the first bin, I have my current open Juno and Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. I do like it. It's more of a moisturiser to me though. Like for some reason, I feel like I have to go in with a separate primer on top. Um, so I still need to test it a bit more, but that's how I feel about that one. I've got Bobbi Brown, Elf, NYX, um, and then I've got like a little mini professional, which I'm not a fan of the original, just so I've got dry skin. Um, and then I have a mini strobe cream in pink light, I think. And then just like this little tiny Fix Plus, which is so cute. So that's in that one. And then the second bin, I can't even get out because I've stood everything up like an absolute knob. Ooh, you can't fall. God, that's a struggle. So I have Smashbox Primer Oil, Deca Bat Light Priming Filter, this little By Terry thing, uh, Revolution Oil, YSL Tissue Claire, uh, Matt Jacobs Coconut, Smashbox Primerizer is probably one of my favourites, as you can tell. Uh, NYX Honey One. This is new, this is the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin. Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Again, new MUA Pro Base. I've got the Benefit Professional Hydrating, which I much prefer to the original. So much better for my dry skin, and I just think it's better in general. Um, Too Faced Hangover X. And then I've got like Benefit That Gal at the bottom there. Let's see if I can get this in if I do it this way. I don't know, I didn't think of doing it that way at first, but I didn't. So for my concealers, these are separated into drugstore and high end, just simply because it's the best way to split them so that they weren't just like all one and nothing. Um, so I'll start with high end. So I've got Jeffree Star, Too Faced, I've got loads of little benefit pots and stuff, Smashbox, uh, It Cosmetics, that's a spare benefit creaseless, um, Jouer in there as well. Um, that's my current one, Huda, YSL, Laura Mercier and Clear FX. So I've just got an array of concealers in that bin. Uh, and then for drugstore, MUA, again, not used it yet. Barry M, actually, I like this one. I saw this one because of my Mama Mitchell. Um, so that one's really nice, this is in the shade Milk. Um, the XX Revolution one, again, not tried. Uh, Flower Beauty, Conceal and Define. Conceal and Hydrate, I've not given this a go yet. And then we have like Elf, NYX, L'Oreal, Colourpop in there. Just an array of different ones in there. So that's that. Okay, so for this drawer, these are my like smaller palettes. I'm just gonna sit on the floor here. <laughs> these are my smaller palettes that I've got. Um, I've got two palette drawers, I know. Uh, so these are my Anastasia ones, we've got Amrezy, Soft Glam, Subculture, and the Jackie Aina palette. I actually really like Subculture, you can pretty much see. I've used it quite a bit, it's quite battered now. Um, I actually quite like that one. Uh, Soft Glam, definitely my fave if I just want to go to neutral palette that I kind of know works for me. This one. Um, Amrezy, which is one of the bigger ones, that's nice. And then Jackie Aina, I do also really like. Not use this one too, too much. Um, I have Desi and Katie, Friendcation. Two Makeup Revolution ones. This is the Rachel Leary, uh, Goddess and the Go. It's a smaller one. And then the Makeup by Jack palette. I do like both of those. Uh, I've got Natasha Denona, Sunrise palette. That one's really pretty. I've got the brew palette by september rose i think it's just a nice neutrals palette i don't think i've ever used that to be honest um socio and kaylee urban bible palette i've not used this in so long but it's such a good palette so i probably should um bh cosmetics hanging in hawaii palette i didn't use it for the longest time because i thought it was going to be really really fair because when you look at it like this the colors look really light but actually that one goes a lot darker than you think it's going to and i like quite a bit of depth to my eyeshadow um, so I do actually really like that one. It's really good quality. And then have an array of Colourpop ones. So this one is the I Love Sarah E uh, one. That one's nice. I have... Is this Dream Street? Yeah, Dream Street by Kathleen White. I think I've only used that one once. Um, Sweet Talk, which is my favourite palette from them. Uh, again, really nice. 
and then I've got like two of the like nine pan palettes so I've got Blue Moon um, which I kept in replace of Blue Blood by Jeffree Star because that wasn't my favourite palette of his to be honest I just found it like super hard to work with the colours were amazing but I just found them super hard to work with and I had to put a lot of effort in it and this one I really didn't so I was like I'd much rather keep this one for me if I wanted to do like a just blue look and have a just blue palette than I would blue blood I knew I'd just reach for this one so I actually gave my blue blood to someone who wanted it uh, and then I have main squeeze which is just like a more red toned palette that one's nice as well um I've got beauty bay fiery matte the little nine pan one that one's nice um I have one of the jordan lipskin palettes in onyx I think um that one's pretty as well and i haven't used that in a while to be honest i have this which just has some like overrun shadows i think these are makeup geek yeah makeup geek um this just has some like extra shadows i tend to keep this because i'll put like shadows in it for traveling or something um and then have this one which again is part of the gingerbread collection from this year uh, last year's christmas collection with Too faced i've not used this because it's four pressed glitters and two mattes but I feel like that one either needed to be a step lighter or that one needed to be a step darker because I feel like if you tried to blend just those two colours out it could turn a bit muddy um so I'm yet to use it to be honest these two at the back I've got this Smashbox one which I like for traveling because it's super tiny and I can go darker if I want to and I can go super natural if I want to so I like that one and then I have this Too Faced like, Raspberry palette mainly keep it for this shade which i think if you kind of look at people's consensus about this palette they all say the same <laughs> it's stunning and it swatches for ages um i've managed to get like one complete look out of this palette and i think that is probably the only complete look i'll be able to get out of this palette to be honest um, but i keep it for that reason um we then have jeffree star thirsty which has he discontinued this now because i'm seeing loads of people selling it on depop for like 70 pound and i'm like how can you do that how um but yeah thirsty i haven't really delved into it too much to be honest and i got it when it came out uh this steel palette love the shimmers in it the mattes i think are just too cool toned for me um they don't look well on my eyes um but the shimmers are stunning and it cost a bomb when i bought it so we're keeping it and then naked honey this is the only urban decay palette i have tried where i actually didn't mind hate the formula um all the other naked palettes naked one two and three absolutely hated it um i've swatched born to run i know you can't go off swatches because it doesn't show how it performs on the eye but just swatching it it wasn't my fave um and as i knew the, how i felt about the quality of other shadows i didn't really like it but the scheme on the color scheme on this one just really spoke to me so i'll try it and it's actually quite good quality so i like that one so that's my smaller palette drawer and then this is the last drawer in this set of drawers. I do have three um, over there in my room uh, with like foundation and stuff in it. This is bigger palettes. Um, so this one I've not used yet. Just got it, like I said. Still got the bloody plastic on it. The Carnival XL Pro palette. I don't know. It looks pretty. I do have the original one as well. So I may give the original one away, to be honest, because... I've used it as you can tell it's not my favorite but as I've got that one I feel like I don't need them both so I've got that this is a big my kit co palette with more of my makeup geek shadows some of them are the colored rain is it colored rain yeah colored rain the light I can't remember they're called like just the pro pigments I think they're like super colorful ones I don't think they do them in singles anymore I think you have to buy the palette um so these like colorful ones here are all coloured rain and then the rest of them are makeup geek again beauty bay was selling them off when marlena was like bringing everything back and they were like a quid each so i got loads my favorite palette the M -M -M mitchell palette that he did in collaboration with beauty bay you can tell this is battered i just if i don't know what i want to do and i don't just want a plain old like simple look i tend to reach for this palette just it's got everything in it so that's that one i've got two beauty bay palettes this is the everything you need matte i think they've just revamped the packaging on these these are the original packaging um love that one 
and then I've also got the fiery palette so I had the nine pan fiery matte palette up there this is just the regular fiery one if I want a super warm toned look this is the one I tend to go for um like on nights out this tends to be my go-to palette just because it's got everything and it's got all the shimmers it's got all the mattes and everything so love that one I've then got this which is the the house to the gingerbread house from Too Faced I actually quite like this palette I know there's big like fire for Too Faced for when they bring out Christmas collections saying that it's not as good quality I've never tried a regular Too Faced shadow to like know um I've only got that raspberry palette and the quality is fine I suppose um, but again it was like a collection so everyone says it's different um but i like this collection um i loved the whole collection to be honest and i really like this palette i think it performs really well so i've got that i've got this sample beauty palette i think i've only used it once or twice but it's quite pretty um jeffree star jawbreaker this and thursday are the only two that i've bought and i've managed to stay in my collection i have previously had conspiracy which i sold uh, blue bud which i gave away and blood sugar which i sold but jawbreaker is probably my favorite palette i've got of his um so yeah love this one as you can tell that one's really good i've got the original jacqueline hill palette i only got this in the last couple of months i'm like super late to the party on this one um but i do like it i mean it's not my fave i don't <laughs> i don't know i got it i think just before all the controversy came out about the ingredients so i don't have a clue if I've got the old ingredients and not the new one, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I've got that. I really wanted it. So I've got, oh God, I forgot I even had this. The Morphe and James Charles palette. There was a time when I could not do an eyeshadow look without using this palette. Um, <laughs> it had to be this palette. I bought this, not because it's James Charles, just because I loved it. Like, if morphe themselves came up with this palette then i'd have bought it just because it was nice um but yeah i've just i just don't reach for it anymore i don't think i think it's because if i want a colorful look i need more colors than that and if i'm going for a neutral look i want a bigger range than that or i just wouldn't think to come in here for neutrals um so i do really like it i'm gonna have to dig it back out again um because I did really like the quality. I just, I just kind of forgot about it, to be honest. And then I have the 39L Hit The Lights palette. This is the one that they did in collaboration with, like, four different influencers. To be honest, don't ask me which. Because I couldn't tell you. I think Kaylee did this side. Don't know. But, yeah, so that's that palette. So that's everything in my last palette drawer. That's my big palettes. Okay, so we move on to these three drawers that are on my desk. So this top drawer, you can't see the full drawer because this like overlay of my desk is in the way. Ignore the dust. But I'll, the back there is only just some like silver liners, like the neon ones, uh, and then my neon pigments and stuff. So nothing too crazy. Um, so this front bin is like primers and lash glues. So I've got Be Perfect, uh, a couple of Anastasia, P. Louise, obviously. NYX Glitter Glue, P. Louise, P. Louise, I've got like tweezers, uh, Tidy Lashes Lash Glue, this is my favourite lash glue, the House of Lashes one, um, love that one, I've got some coloured bases, I've got Duo, more P. Louise, I've got a Morphe and a Too Faced primer down there somewhere, scissors, just like tools and things in this one and stuff that I tend to use. This one is all of my pigments. Um, so what makes up most of my pigment draw is peaches and cream. Uh, they're pigments, like this one's rattlesnake. Just because they do like a 10 for 50 quid, I think. So I, I think I ordered two sets or something like that. Uh, I've got some Naked Geek ones again when they were selling them off for Beauty Bay. Sample Beauty. These are Pastel Rose Co. These are like duochrome ones, I don't know. Um, I've got Iconic uh, ones. I've got some Doll Beauty. This is Jordana Tessia. I've got a lonely MAC blue brown there. Um, so that's just my pigments. This one here is eyeliners. I don't tend to use eyeliner too much. I've got super hooded eyes. Um, so I've got like a Charlotte Tilbury like colour stick. I've got NYX. These LA Girl neon ones are actually really good. Uh, NYX Vivid Bright. So I've got a L'Oreal one. I've got the Benefit Bad Girl Waterproof liners. NYX White one. Um, more benefit keeper, uh, Fenty, 
eyeliner just a bunch of different eyeliners and then this is just a maybelline gel one um and this bin is like glitters so i've got all these glitters in these pots are uh, iconic and um, so i've got loads of those i've got my steeler magnificent metals uh, i've got a color pop one down there and then at the back are just some kiko single shadows that i don't really use um in this middle section i've got like scissors nail clippers a face razor and then like these brush guards that used to clean my brushes um so this draws not too exciting on my face palettes like i said uh, they're in a separate drawer so this one is the roof to the gingerbread collection i do like this one that highlights a bit more natural uh, this bronzer is quite dark however so stuff to use it with quite a light hand uh, but that's that one i've got the bronze squad by benefit um which these are really good value if you do see one you like um i've got the Too faced sweet peach glow palette which i see so many people bag on this because they don't think it has any pigment mine's absolutely fine you can tell from the state of the packaging i love it the bronze is really nice it is very light i will say and um, but i'm very fair so it works fine for me um the blush is lovely and the highlight is really nice as well so i actually really like that i've got these two mini benefit ones this is the mini mini bronze squad which is the mini torso the big one uh, this is a nice travel one because it's got Hula Cookie and Gold Rush. So kind of like your cheek products in one little palette. Uh, this one I got just because I wanted Tickle to try it. But I knew I wouldn't use it all the time. Um, and it comes in a mini here with Galifonia and Dandelion. And obviously Galifonia is one of my favourite blushes. And I didn't have Dandelion. So that's that one. I then have the Jaclyn Hill Highlight Palette. Uh, this is the Flash Palette. I love this. I think it's really, really nice. Um, I tend to just mix all the colours together, to be honest, um, and it works well. This is like one of the very, very few highlight palettes where all the colours kind of work for me. Um, so that's really nice. I have, this is new again, not tried this, the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I just got this off Beauty Bay. These colours look really dark in the pan, but they swatch a lot lighter. So I think I'll be absolutely be able to get away with all the colours, except maybe 143 will be a bit darker um so i'm excited to give that a go i then have the that glow kit again got this from alex uh, on depop these are actually like the most natural highlighters that i own in my collection i think when these first came out because these kind of they started introducing highlighter before highlighter was a thing so i think when these first came out they were probably like super blinding and everything went crazy but i think now they're not that great but i do like it when i'm just doing like super natural days and I just want a tiny bit of a highlight that's what i use that one for um i have the Everglass ambient lighting ghost palette this is tiny by the way like it's the size of your hand i expected it to be like double the size i don't know why but i did um this is lovely i've not tried it yet <laughs> but it swatches nice um the only thing again i'm concerned about is how small the pans are like getting a brush in there um, I think I'll have to use like a real techniques blush brush, which is a bit more like obviously tapered, so it'll get into the bronzer and stuff a bit better. So that's that one, and the packaging is stunning. I have my Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Delicate Palette. Uh, this one's really nice. It's like that bouncy, cushiony colour, um, but it is quite nice. I tend to prefer using these with my finger or with like a more dense highlight brush, because otherwise I find it doesn't really come up. Um, I honestly mainly only use those two shades. This one is super pink and um, like that reflex pink. And then that one is just a bit too dark. It's like a peach colour. It's a bit of a weird colour actually. Um, but that's that one. And then this, again, I haven't tried yet. I've only just bought it because Be Perfect had it on sale for £10. Um, I did actually get this when I went to the Tatty Lashes and Mama Mama Mitchell um, Masterclass with Jeffree Star. It came in the goodie bag. But I just didn't see myself using it because as much as people say, oh yeah, but those three colours that you can't use, you could use them as eyeshadow. You've seen how many eyeshadow palettes I have. I will never think, oh, I'm going to go grab um, Lifestyle from the highlight palette and put that on my eyes. I would just use that colour that I've probably got in 20 other eyeshadow palettes. I would never reach into this and use it as an eyeshadow palette. The only time I would is if I think if I brought that travelling with me and didn't bring any eyeshadow and I was just using bronzers and stuff or like an all matte palette and I brought this with me then I would but at home while well, I've got access to all of my makeup I just wouldn't so I thought for a tenner that's not bad even if I only use those four shades it was only a tenner um so I thought I'd give it a go I've heard mixed things about this to be honest 
the swatches look nice but apparently people say it just looks really thick on the skin which when you see some of the pictures on instagram you can kind of understand um so i'll have to give it a go myself but that's why i only bought it because it was on sale um you'd think i'd have kept the one that i got essentially for free um but i just didn't think i'd use it and then i saw some people use some of the colors and it looked really nice so i thought for a tenner i can justify it if i only actually end up using like three or four of the colors so that's my palette drawer and then this drawer is foundation powder and setting spray and for someone who like never uses powder i hardly ever set my face and if i do it's the tiniest bit under my eyes i have an awful lot of powder <laughs> um yeah so again this little like bin thing is from poundland again um it was either poundland or bnm i don't know so this little thing here is just a spare hill of flawless they don't sell this anymore this is in the shade i'm pure for short ivory i'm not the biggest fan of this foundation however i've got it it's unused un unopened untouched um but yeah so that's that one that's just an extra i've got this which is the ysl cushion foundation i do really like this however i find it runs out really quick and i know that you don't have to buy the whole thing again you can just buy the like cushion bit but it's still like 30 quid just for the cushion bit i don't know i don't know but anyway these are my foundations so i have their la girl lightning drops um but the la girl actual foundation is like my favorite foundation in this world it looks so nice on the skin and it's only a tenner I and mean, you can get it on beauty bay shades suck a little bit like this is fair and you can see it's a little bit too dark for me but i get over it and um, this is the rimmel lasting perfection breathable we've got the dior backstage uh becca apple luminous the new benefit hello happy foundation which is what replaced this one um we've got maybelline fit me this is the matte and poreless one and you'd think with me having dry skin i'd hate this but it's actually looks quite nice on the skin i don't find it overly matte though um flower beauty classic match perfection by rimmel and um, bare minerals complexion rescue tinted moisturizer this is what i use when i literally don't want a lot of makeup that's my fave we have the nars weightless foundation uh dior skin forever glow mac face and body pro tip if you're going to get this get it online this is a 120 ml bottle and this will cost you i think it's either 29 or 30 pound and in store you'll get a 50 ml bottle and it'll cost you 26 so for an extra four three four quid you get over double the amount that you get so always get this foundation online i don't care what they tell you get it online if you know your shade get it online um i have the bare minerals complexion rescue like stick foundation uh, l'oreal infallible fresh wear this is the mac water weight this is extremely similar to face and body to be honest i don't need both but i have both um this i got in like a look fantastic box or something i don't know no idea what it is this Kiko Ocean Feel Liquid Foundation is actually quite nice. It's t it looks really small, but it's only 5mm less than like the average size. It's SPF 30. This is in the shade 3. Um, but yeah, I don't mind that, to be honest. This one, again, haven't tried. It's the XX Revolution New Foundation. This is the Luminous one. Um, again, haven't tried the MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Fan Finish Foundation in the shade 110. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, we have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I really only wear this if I've got a primer oil underneath because I find on me, if I don't, it looks quite dry. Um, but that could just be me because everyone else loves it. Uh, standard YSL Touche Eclair. Uh, NARS All Day Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade Gobi. In, um, Gobi? Gobi? I don't know. Light 3 in the NARS foundations, by the way. Uh, and then we have for Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour and then these are tubes that are, like too big to stand up in the drawer or like the tubes like this so we have it cosmetic cc cream stay naked from urban decay ysl tushy clair all in one glow i love that foundation uh, we then have 
Conceal and Hydrate by Revolution, which I also really like. Then we've got some samples. I've got some tiny little samples of the YSL foundation um, and then a little sample of like the Shell Tilbury Magic foundation. I already tried one of the samples because we get two different shades. So that one's in like a darker shade, I think. So yeah, that's the foundations. Uh, behind it, I have powders. Um, well, first of all, I've got these two spare sponges. So Real Techniques and a Juno and Co. Love those. Um, I've got the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder this is in the shade banana this is darker than me obviously again similar to the darker nyx bronzer that i had just in case i do anyone's makeup um i have revolution banana light i love this powder like to say i never use powder this is one that i do reach for quite a bit to be honest just under my eyes because like i said that's really the main main place that i do actually set um so that one's really nice actually really nice it's only a five and you get loads i have the classic RCMA No Colour Powder. This one and the Banana Light have the worst packaging in the world. I have to like tap it out onto my makeup palette, but we go on. I've got this little beauty blender thing, which I don't like. I think it just drags up your foundation, to be honest. I don't see it actually having any benefit <laughs> to putting your powder on at all. Uh, in this bin, we have I've got like the Jaclyn Hill Luminous Powder, Fenty Butter, uh, Laura Mercier. Jeffree Star, mine's in the shade Fair. Um, they're loose. And then for pressed, I've got the Jouer hydrating one. Does anyone else find this gets hard pan really bad? Um, I have Charlotte Tilbury in the shade one. You can see this is my favourite pressed powder. I do really like it. It's very expensive though. So yeah, I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Paws Illumination. Another fave. I've made quite a dent in that one. Um, and then this, the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Opalescent yes this is really nice uh, if you want like a glowy finish to your look so that's that um and then at the back there i don't know how well you can see because i can't see what the camera is pointing to and um, is setting sprays so i've just got revolution morphe i've got a couple pixie ones this is the Too Faced hangover primer it's the same one it's just got a watermelon scent i don't know it was the same price so i thought if i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna get a nice scent to it uh, matt jacobs coconut one which is not a good setting spray at all. However, if you're wanting, I don't think they sell this anymore, so I don't know why I'm selling you how good it is because they don't sell it anymore. However, this is my favourite um, for if you just want to, if you've put too much powder on your skin, like too many layers of powder, this is amazing for bringing back that like wet, like fresh look and it not looking so matte. Don't let you know in case you still have it in your collection like I do. I don't use it as much because it is mainly for that purpose and I don't really tend to use too much powder but just in case it's in there uh, I've got Becca this MUA one again it went a couple of quid Anastasia Dewey set I've got the Fix Plus Gold Light which I hate don't like it um, and then I've got Fisali Rose Gold Skin Mist which I much prefer uh, this one smells like orange it's really lovely everything so yeah that concludes my makeup collection you can all have a look i am not getting full face makeup and dressed in quarantine it's not happening um so yeah that's it if you're wondering where all my eyelashes are i redid my makeup collection and then realized i had nowhere to put them so they're currently just sat on top of my desk um so we'll ignore that uh, but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um i'll leave links to anything that i mentioned i would down below in the description bar um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.